welcome back. So today this video is a 60 second read video with a text that's been taken from Twinkle. Okay, so our text today is all about the role of women during the Second World War. So you've got 60 seconds to read this, the timer will appear in the bottom of the screen. And once the 60 seconds is up, we'll go through any of the vocabulary in there that you may have struggled with. We'll have a look at some questions and some answers. Okay, so the first word that I have picked out is the word rapidly. Now if you do something rapidly, it means that you do it speedily or really, really quickly. It's the word patriotic. The next word that I've picked out is the word patriotic. So if you're patriotic, it means that you're very, very proud to belong to the place that you come from. Like Malala here. You are a female hero, essentially. So when you use the word hero, it usually refers to a male so a heroine is the female version of that, so somebody who you can look up to, much like Malala here. Slightly longer word called ammunition. The next word that I've picked out is the word munition. Now you may have heard a slightly longer word called ammunition. So munition basically means the weapons and the shells that were used to create um, bombs and bullets for the people who were fighting in the war. The word I've picked out is land girls. Land girls. Now, land girls are basically um, the, the female version of the army from the Second World War, but they had slightly different jobs to do. So it might be that they were, as it says in the text, um, driving the um, transport, that they were working as part of ambulance drivers or um, actually within the hospitals themselves, um, building ships, becoming the searchlight operators, which is the second word that we've picked out here. would be used to light up big sections of the sky which would be used to try and find enemy planes that were flying over the top of buildings. So left the text there as well so you can refer back to it that's very important. I've also left the text there as well so you can refer back to it that's very important when you're doing your answers and once all you have done all four of them if you press play again and we will go through the answers together. So number two what percentage of married women were words relating to working? So basically, it is any word that is a synonym of that word there um, or has something to do with that word. So you could have anything along the lines of employment, work, jobs, positions or employed. You cannot have any word that you have made up that's not in the text. It has to be ones that you can pull out of the text itself. Number two, what percentage of married women were working by 1943? You can only have the answer 80% because that is clearly what it states in the text. Number three, how did life change for women during the Second World War? Give two examples. So you can have anything to do with um, men being away on active service. They began to work um, rather than stay at home. So it's to do with the fact that the women are doing jobs that they wouldn't have done before. to do with the fact that they are showing their dedication or that they're proud of the country that they belong to by doing really dangerous jobs to help fight the cause so anything to do with it they were helping their country to win the war um, and reference to women's role being important and heroic <laughs> 